Hello and welcome to Lux Tutorial. And my name is Abhishek Gupta. Now today is a special day. Today I have called one of my students, those who have appeared in the Class 12 CBSE Board Examination, and she got 95% in her final examination. Her name is Anandita Das Gupta, and she is from DPS Ruby Park. Now let's welcome Anandita Das Gupta. Hello, sir. Hello, Anandita. And uh, I have gone through your results and your result was really amazing. You got 93 in physics, in chemistry, you got 93 in English, you got 97 in maths, you got 95 in computer science, you got 97 and your additional subject physical education, you got 99. So a best of five, 95% of yours. So how you are feeling right now? So I'm actually very happy because like in class 12, you know, I have given up a lot of things. I had given up a lot of things. So finally, when I get the results, I was actually very happy. So, you know, hard work pays off. Yeah, like that. that I know. Your hard work has really paid off. And I know because I have taught you math and physics. So I know this very well. That how much labor, how much hard work you have put in to complete those two subjects. Because I know those th days, like when you used to ask me questions and we used to sit and solve those questions regularly on a regular basis. So I do remember all those things. Now, there are a few things that I want to ask you. The first thing is that uh, whether you was expecting this kind of mark, that means this percentage of marks, or you were expecting something more, or you were expecting like something less. What was your expected score? Actually, I had kept my expectations low because, you know, when you expect something high, you obviously get disappointment. So I I was sure that I would get about 90, but not sure, but I thought, okay, because my exams were good. So, so I thought 91, 92, 93 or 90, 89, but when I got the results, I was actually shocked because obviously I did not expect this much for English, especially because... Uh, obviously, in language section, you obviously marks are deducted and stuff. We cannot predict what we'll get in English and Hindi or those kind of subjects. And then you know, physics was very difficult. The paper was very difficult. So I was not sure of how the marking scheme would be. But I think, okay, it was good. So. Okay. And uh, what was your friend's reaction and the family member's reaction? Like, whether... The reactions was positive, negative. What kind of reactions your friends gave you? My friends were very, very happy. Like two of my best friends, they were very, very happy. They were putting up status on WhatsApp and stuff. And my parents were very happy. And my grandmother just went, you know, crazy after hearing the result. Okay, okay. Achha. And one more thing is that, that I want to ask you is that just like how you have prepared yourself like for this examination uh, getting a 95 percent marks is really good really good but how you prepared yourself like just few tips to the students those who are coming for class 2012 upcoming board examination 2021 you i just want to know that what was the entire routine of yours before the examination in the month of january then in the okay. month of december like that what was your routine? So, very honestly, I did not study for like seven hours or six hours, not even five hours. I did not study by the clock. I used to set targets like, okay, I have to complete this chapter today. And then I just used to complete it. It took at max two hours because I'm a fast learner, I personally feel. So, it did not take much time. And I actually did all those activities, which, you know, mostly 12 students don't do. I went out with my friend every day. I even uh, came to your class late every day because I used to yeah. roam around. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but very honestly, the main thing was uh, knowing what you're studying. My concepts were clear and regular practice. Uh, one very important thing which I did was it helped me very much was giving exams. I gave many exams and solving question papers because when you solve the question papers, you actually get to know uh, what questions are coming from what chapter, what is the marks, dis mark distribution, distribution. Et, et, yes. et, et cetera. So 
I was very like confident with the pattern of the paper, so I knew what no matter like there would not be any changes in the paper. So I knew the paper like you know the blueprint of the paper. So I had prepared yes. accordingly. So suppose if I am weak with some subjects, uh, some chapter like. in physics i was very weak at optics so i had not prepared it that well because i know what kind of questions will come i just prepared those and actually i could do those in the examination so regular practice is very important and solving papers that is very very important yes and i do remember this i do remember this like i also used to tell many of the students that you have to regularly practice these things and you have to know the pattern and like studying 10 hours or 12 hours is not compulsory but studying remembering what you have already learned yesterday or day before yesterday or throughout the week is very important so really a nice suggestion to those who are watching this video they should remember this tips from your side that yes there is an ex student of uh, uh, like lux tutorial or there is an ex student of any other institute or any other coaching center she gave this kind of tip to the upcoming batch now one more thing is that that since the time limit there was a restricted time frame that you have to cover up in the month of uh, feb till the month of feb because feb was the board examination i do remember that from the january only your practicals got started so whether you were already completed with the syllabus before or you like you were a like a, a per, kind of a person who started and or you are throughout the year that means studying throughout the year what kind of a student is it i'll be throughout very honest i'm a procrastinator i am literally a procrastinator so like i remember i had the subjects which i like or the chapters which i like i was very thorough with them but even the day, i was like we had 10 days gap before the match examination i was like okay 10 days gap so i'll prepare this chapter then so hmm. but overall especially maths i used to practice daily so my strong parts were stronger and my weak parts they were definitely weak but i had given effort so that they were like you know at least i can attempt them that was the main thing and when it comes to chemistry i had not studied chemistry for the entire year literally the entire year so january and february you i actually dedicated all of my time to chemistry Okay. and physics was like always it was like okay yeah i study physics that was okay acha apart from this what is your future plans like what you want to become or what you want to opt after class 12 in the college what you want to I want to study statistics or geology because I'm quite fond of maths and numbers so statistics for that and I'm really really fond of earth science or geology so either of the two whichever i get that's okay and what about the uh, means after getting such a good result so what is the guardians going to offer you like uh, they are going to give you because of this kind of result is there any gift from your guardian side or nothing so right there now it's the covid else. time so it's very difficult yeah there will yeah. be something i will definitely ask for it but once let, let the pandemic be over because now most of the good shops are closed and stuff but definitely yes. we will have a party we all of our friends will have a party that's the best thing spending good time together uh, yes good times together so i hope that this that you have discussed with the class 10 as well as the class 12 students those who are going to appear for any board examination it is irrespective of cbsc isc icsc they should be gaining some tips from your side that yes these are the tips that the students those who have already passed out has given Hmm. that be practical practice daily stay focused study throughout you will definitely get a good result this will definitely. surely help them so thank you anandita for sharing your valuable tips to the students i hope all the students who those who are watching this would surely understand and would try to implement the tips from your side i will be surely calling you in the near future if required to share some more tips at where you can say that how you are how the students should prepare at the end the last moment preparation tips from a student side that means we generally teachers give the tips from teacher side that these are the things that you should prepare 
but yes definitely the student student interaction is a much different kind of a thing as compared to a teacher and student interaction because student student interaction is like friendly kind of they are tum ye kar lo tum wo kar lo ye ho jayega wo ho jayega this kind of interaction so i will definitely call you so well you will be there for that surely i will be there okay so thank you students for watching this video i hope you like this video press the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification so that you will be notified whenever we will come up with another video so thank you very much for watching this video stay home stay safe till then goodbye